Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Karen. Guess what? Today, 18th of July, it's my 10th wedding anniversary. Oh my god, 10 years. I cannot believe this. <laughs> it's been 10 years. <laughs> yeah, so it's been it's been very, very um exciting 10 years. And I'm really, really grateful for what I got. Um, and a massive thank you to my husband. He actually gives everything to me and kids. So I'm really grateful. Um, again, I just simply want to talk about marriage uh, in this video. Um, I think life is not always um, sometimes as easy as we think. I'm sure everyone, you know, if you've been married for 10 years and 20 years and even 30 years, you agree life is not easy and marriage is not easy. But I think the main thing is um, as long as you stay together and you support each other, you love and care each other, I think all the challenges and all the difficulties um, are not issue you know you can do it together and you can go through it together I think in life for many people is when we have the difficulties and people start arguing and when we have the disagreements and people start you know arguing and getting angry with each other and getting pissed off with each other you know so they fight and you know and that's where problems come up uh, because everyone, every family, because we have, you know, work and we have kids and then we have, you know, parents and, you know, friends and family. So sometimes life is not easy. Yeah, I think we all agree sometimes life is not easy um, and people do argue and people do disagree with each other. And, you know, uh, because this is this life. Life is not always fairy tales, isn't it? Um, but I think the main thing is we, um, when we are facing challenges and when we argue with, if, with each other, um, we need to learn how to calm down. <laughs> and I, I think for me, a few, a few advice I would like to give Number one is uh, just be careful what you say. So first one is your, is your language and the words you say. Um, we know sometimes, um, you know, people physically hurt each other. That's violence, right? Physical violence. But I think um, like language is also another one can hurt people more than physical. That's, that's for me. Uh, that's how I think anyway. So um, sometimes when a couple argue and then one could say to each other, oh, you're the worst husband I've ever seen. Oh, I've never seen a dad like you. You're just, you know, the worst father in the whole wide world, you know, or even something worse than that. Sometimes we say something, we feel, you know, okay, I say something. You know, you kind of like, okay, in this around, I'm the winner. And many people think like that. But when you use a really, really horrible language to hurt your partner, uh, your the other half, it's really not nice. I know when you're in that mood, when you're really, really angry, anything can come out from your mouth. But be careful what you say. So just bear in mind, do not hurt people, even though you're not physically hating someone. But all the words, all the language you use can hurt people more. Uh, yeah, so that's the number one thing I would say. I think number two is uh, try to be calm as possible as you can. Deep breath and think about the positive thing and think about the nice uh, thing and things. Think about why you fall in love with this person in the first place. 
For me, I'll never ever forget one night me and my husband and two of our Irish friends with we sat in a restaurant in China in Beijing. We were having drinks and having something to eat, and we were laughing and laughing for ages for the whole night. Even the next day, my cheeks were hurting because I laughed that much. So that's why. I love this person. That's why I fall in love with this person. So I, I've always tried to think about something positive and think about why I love this person. <laughs> think about you know the nice moment rather than the horrible ones because no one is perfect. I'm not perfect. I have lots of problems as well. So my partner got to you know put up with that as well. So I think everyone is you know like the same. And number three. Uh, be grateful and always appreciate what your partner does for you and for kids and for the family, rather than always being negative, always you know criticizing the other person. Oh, that's not right! And why did you do this? You know that kind of thing.、Uh, being negative and being down, we need to always be positive. You know.、Um, Yeah, and the last one be supportive and love and care each other. And、um, it's not always easy because you, when you've been married for ten years or even longer, you sometimes forget about that.、Uh, <laughs> you take things for granted, you know. But let's always be、um, supportive and support each other. And and then they will be good for the family. It will be good for kids. It will be good for both of you.、Um, yes. So that's my just very simple advice.、Um, yeah. Ten、uh, years marriage.、Um, what about you? How long have you been married? I'm sure many of people been married much longer than us. Ten years and thirty years, and you have some amazing stories to tell. Or much better advice than my advice. Um, yeah, so just、uh, happy anniversary to my husband, and、uh, thank you for everything you do for me and kids. And we hope we have many years together in the future. And I, I hope everyone has a happy marriage. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.